wardrobe well it's my new wardrobe this is the spare bedroom and we decided to take the bed out of here and then just put a sofa bed in so we've got more room to kind of put maybe another rail in we've got we maybe want a little desk in here as well and also i might use it as a bit more of a filming space so today is monday the 28th of october basically we moved in a week today which is so exciting my moving vlog will be up up now um so if you haven't seen that i will link it below but also you can just find it i think it'll be one of my re most recent videos yeah it's so exciting now we absolutely love it so far um just everything I don't know it's just it we just seem to fit in so well and it feels like home already i spent all last week trying to kind of get everything ready like bits of furnishing stuff like that but we've still got quite a long way to go it is a furnished flat but we've still got like our own bits that we need in it so we've ordered a chest of drawers for the bedroom we need like little finishing touches as well like we've got a console table outside that needs um bits and bobs on but i will be doing a full video could be IG, igtv or youtube i'm not sure yet um a full video on the actual apartment itself so um stay tuned for that if you like a house tour kind of thing because i know i keep talking about it but obviously i'm not showing you properly there's all these little bits to do before i actually do the house tour but that is coming i promise so monday morning we went to the gym for the first time this morning again you can see all the amenities on my instagram it might be up I'm pretty sure it'll be up by now. But yeah, we, we, we're about to do a full tour of that. We're going to film it now if we can. We went to the gym for the first time, which was really nice and so easy. When you've got a gym in your building, I mean, that is the height of luxury. Literally, just go upstairs. No excuses, though, now. It's our first day kind of getting back into routine and getting just back to normal. Like, it's been... It's, it's a bit weird having, like a moving week it just feels like you just here there and everywhere we've been eating takeaways most nights um yeah we've just been a bit up in the air so now it feels like we're finally just about going to start getting back into that routine which is so exciting um i just sort of show you um a few products that i've been using this morning so this is a brand new please excuse my nails by the way i'm definitely going to do them tonight but moving does not help your nails um so i got this sent to me actually went to my old dress it's bobby brown intensive skin serum foundation in spf 40 so as it says on the bottle it's a serum foundation so it's really light coverage which is nice it's exactly what i'm wearing at the moment but saying that though it's actually given quite a full coverage which is nice it's like a full coverage but light at the same time and they said on the press release that they sent me that it is a new and updated formula and it says we've listened to you so obviously they've gone off the feedback that they've had and updated the formula or I'm not actually sure what they've updated I don't know whether it's the formula or the bottle itself but I'm really a big fan of this they actually sent me two shades so they sent me beige which is very 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 light and they sent me warm beige which is a bit better for my skin tone because I'm a little bit more yellowy yeah so this is a bit more warm it's the warm beige one I'm actually gonna do a whole um get ready with me kind of video once we've settled a bit more I've got these joggers on I actually shared this on my Instagram please excuse the mess because we've not actually like not nowhere is actually sorted yet and we're really desperate for these drawers that we're gonna get so these joggers are cashmere they're from a brand called number 11 and they're on brand alley brand alley is a discounted website they also sent me these very very generously and um, i'll leave a link below because they're discounted cashmere but I, I feel like they're such a worthy investment and if you're going to invest in cashmere do it now at the beginning of the season so you get your full wear out of them throughout autumn winter and they're just honestly just so comfortable and so nice for wearing around the house and for all those nights that you're in hibernating um just to have like that luxury of getting into nice cashmere joggers so nice so yeah anyway just thought i'd quickly sort of update you on bits and bobs show you what foundation i've been using this is just going to be a normal weekly vlog but tomorrow we are going to london um we're actually going for a meeting with a brand um but i can't tell you anymore and i'm not going to show it 
which is really frustrating and annoying if you're watching it and want to see it but it might be revealed shortly depending on how the meeting goes so we're gonna maybe vlog that as a separate bit and then the rest of the day that we're spending in London because we're there all day we're going down at about eight and we only get the half seven train back and the meetings first thing when we arrive so um you know it'll only take i, I presume it'll only take maximum two hours because it's an initial meeting um so then we'll have the rest of the day in london which will be really nice because apparently the weather's looking good so um i'm gonna vlog that i'm not sure we're actually what we're actually gonna do yet but it'd be nice to kind of spend a bit of time outside actually maybe walk around a bit and see some sights um I really do actually want to nip into H&M home on Regent Street but I'm not sure whether we're going to go to that area or not. Anyway, rambling now but that is the plan tomorrow. Wednesday I'm at home working. Thursday I've got my friends coming around to see the apartment for the first time which is so exciting. Also if you're kind of new to my vlogs, I have just moved apartments so that's what all this is about. I guess that wouldn't really make sense if you're very very new subscriber or follower on Instagram but yeah my friends are coming around on Thursday which will be nice and then Friday I'm not sure but just be working and yeah you'll probably see the updates through the week of new home stuff I'm getting as well so that's exciting. Right, I've been rambling for seven minutes so I thought I'd just sort of say hello update you on life and I will see you in a bit. Light is so good in this apartment Maybe a bit too bright over here actually. I um, can't wait to actually show you around. But I just thought I'd share a quick new outfit with you. I'm about to film a video. So um, this is what I'm wearing. New Majori earrings. I will leave the link to these below. It's an affiliate link, which means I get a small permission if you buy anything from it. So these are the dome croissant earrings and the matching ring. But I've also got the slim ring that fits on your uh, little finger which is solid gold and this is gold vermeil I think but um I've been wearing Majuri pieces for years probably since I first started blogging because they were one of the very first brands to work with me and send me some pieces but they're one of those brands that kind of I don't know just stuck with me and stayed with me because I wear their rings that they initially sent me every single day. They're solid gold, very slim bands and I wear them, well I'm not wearing them right now but I wear them near enough every day. But yeah, loving these new pieces. I've got a couple more as well. So I'll leave, leave the link to shop Majuri in the description box and they're really, really good prices as well for the quality and overall style and everything like that. Really good prices. I think they're a Canadian brand as well. But yeah, gorgeous. Everything's so nice about them. So this cardigan is a new one from Zara, but I just think it's so cool and really nice layering piece for winter if you're going out but um, need like a bit more of a warm layer. Um, be nice with a white shirt as well. Um, and then I've got them with new Zara belt. This is an old jumper from Zara, but a link is similar. Um, old Zara jeans as well. And then just some old kitten heel boots, but I really like the look with the gold belt. This is really handy too. And I picked this up the other day, I think it was 19.99. Yeah, I love this cardigan. I think it's going to be such a useful piece throughout autumn and winter, especially like festive kind of party season coming up um, and you want to look a bit glam, maybe it's a daytime occasion. I'm going to do a Zara haul as well I think, but yeah this is just my outfit. I'm going to film um, in, in a second. Back from filming now, I'm going to make a quick cup of tea and crack on with some work I think. What time is it? Um, it's 11. 10 past 11. Do you want a tea? Um, what decaf? Decaf tea. Yeah, we stocked up our fridge last night with lots of healthy things because we've been on such a bad, I mean ignore the bottle of wine, but we've been on such a bad eating spell so we got some healthy things in. So let's make our cup of tea before I start some work.
you're editing that video. Finishing the vlog, yeah. Tim's editing my moving video. Oh, it's, I bet it's loud. We've got the windows open and they've got a huge crane down below. I didn't know you were vlogging this one. Should I get some fresh air? Should we get some fresh air? Tim's editing my moving video. I am about to write a list of everything I need to do. Maybe get back to some emails. I've got a phone call at half 12 so in an hour and then after that i think i'll have some lunch um yeah just get organized now and we need to do a big tidy up as well in here because we've accumulated lots of boxes and different things that definitely need going down to the bin store so that is the plan of action my heart is a with my thoughts oh and i don't know which side is better Try to connect all the dots Oh, to let you in behind my shelter You could fit into my life When it's daylight and this night I will give away my So I've basically not changed position from here all day But I've just been working at my laptop Tim's been doing the vlog all day And now it's about half four I've come into the end. Tim's just about to start making something to eat. And I might actually plan my outfit for London tomorrow. I know I said earlier that we might have a bit of time in the afternoon, but I spoke to the brand and I think they want it to be like a full day meeting because I can't get to London that often. So we want to try and pack in as much as possible tomorrow. So I probably won't vlog tomorrow, but I've got two events. Well, I've got a meeting with La Prairie. La Prairie? on when's that on wednesday and i've also got a lunch at 20 stories with elf cosmetics so i've got plenty on this week this is what we're doing right now chef tim oh it's very dark you're out of focus anyway we're making chicken chicken spice and, and all things nice nice we're having basically having chicken with what? No, I don't, I don't know. Hardly did that much of the chain. Oh, but well, still. You need your energy, don't you? Don't cut like paper pain. Either come close or stay away. Oh. It's like truffle oil. Right, I'm gonna think I'm gonna try on my outfit that I'm gonna wear tomorrow and then that's done and just did. Hopefully soon I'll have a proper stand. Actually, that works. I have got a stand actually. I've got my ring light stand, but I've not set it up yet. But I've got some new leather trousers from Zara. I know I've got a million pairs of leather trousers, but I feel like these are a good pair because they're a straight, more of a straight leg, which I've been looking for a pair of. And they've got belt loop with them. I'm gonna try and link them where I can. I think they were 30 pounds. And I got them size small. Yeah, size small. And then I'm gonna put them with this belt also from Zara. Did I discuss this? Oh yeah, this is the belt that I linked earlier, that I showed earlier. This keeps slipping down here. Um, and then I've got a jumper in the other room that I probably wear. So I got this from Zara, size small, 29.99, and it's a navy, and I've not got a navy jumper, so I thought that would be a really nice addition. And I really like the idea of navy with black leather trousers. I know the light's not very good here, it's a bit too bright, isn't it? And I've also got a shirt. Oh, I could wear, I could wear that shirt, actually. I've got either a plain white shirt I can wear. This is a new one. Again, by number 11, which is the same brand as the Cashmere Joggers. So I've got just plain white shirt, which I'm going to steam. Or um, I can go a bit fancier. Again, Zara with this white shirt. So I'm going to try these on and then see what we think. In a minute. 
So this is the look on. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting really. Oh, that's a bit better. The navy jumper shows up. White shirt. And then I've got PD Paola earrings on. This is my new ring from Missouri. I need to take this tag off, but um, it's like the matching one to this, but I think this is the solid gold one. And then I've got my Missouri rings on there and i told you the rest of the outfit but i don't know whether to put my black boots on with it that i've got on now or shall i put my trainers on with it not sure and i'm not sure what coat i've got my navy coat which i might wear um, but i'm not sure whether that's going to be warm enough i might need my fur one i might take my little bag oh this bag probably will go probably be the bag that i decide to take but yeah, I like the look. I think maybe with trainers. Let me try it with trainers. I think I prefer it with the trainers because it just brings in that white from the top to the bottom. Yeah, this is, I think, the finished look. And then probably my navy coat and maybe a scarf over the top because I think it will be quite chilly tomorrow. Um, but it's meant to be a really lovely day. So that is nice. But yeah, I quite like the white and then the navy and the black with the accents of gold. I think that's a good touch. What a mess I am now. Tim's got country music on in the background in case you can hear that. But um, just slip my cashmere joggers back on because it's the evening now. I thought it's time to get comfy. I'm going to steam that shirt, but I'm pretty sure that is the outfit that I'm going to wear. It might be up on my Instagram actually. So uh, yeah, have a look there just to see if it is. And if not, I'll link all those pieces below anyway. So yeah, I think we're just going to chill out tonight. I might have to refilm something slightly, but not refilm, but actually film it. But yeah, other than that, not much going on the rest of the evening. So yeah. All sorted now, probably. Well, pretty much ready for London now. I don't wanna lead you astray. Well, give me clarity so I can see. You could fit into my life when it's daylight in this night. I will give away my soul, but is it worth it? I don't know. All set up. And. Where's the chicken gone? Oh, chicken gone in my belly. Where's it gone? Chicken oh, gone it's in here. in here. Yeah, it's just chilling in there. Mmm. Oh, steamy. Yeah, I'll do it. Mmm, looking delish. Yes, de resistance. That is a large size. I mean, that's all green. Mmm. That's, yeah. that's the good stuff. Just, just what good. did you cook this in? A bit of fajita seasoning, onions, garlic, a bit of chilli. Mm. Mm. Sure yeah. Morning everyone. Well, it's nearly lunchtime. It's a bit like garden. We had a really long day in London yesterday. Our train was delayed. So we only got home at 11, which was delightful. But yeah, today is a new day. Had a really successful meeting yesterday, which you will hear about in the long run. But today I'm popping out to La Prairie to Selfridges? Selfridges counter. Meeting Freya. She's coming with me. I think she's in Manchester now, but she's not parked up or anything. I've um, done some work this morning. Just filmed a mini Zara haul. I've got quite a lot to do actually today when I get back. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. New Zara knit. Absolutely fabulous chunky knit. Zara belt, Zara trousers, new Zara jeans, and then my body loafers so yeah this is outfit du jour got a bracelet on which was very kindly gifted to me by north skull such a gorgeous jewelry brand which they've just started doing women's wear as well and then i've got my majori rings on and yeah that is the look i'm gonna maybe try and show you in the mirror actually but i'm absolutely starving but we've not actually had time to eat anything well, I've not had time to eat anything. I'm meeting Freya in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna have to eat after, I think. It's very messy everywhere because I've just filmed this haul in a bit of a rush, but this is my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. I actually really, really like this look. I love this knit. I'm just gonna wear it without a coat and I'll probably freeze, but um, you know, the outfit is the jumper, so it's gonna have to do. I really kind of want some sort of gilet. I'm not sure whether I want a fair one, but 
like a faux fur one or not but anyway this are these are the lovely trousers which look really good with like kitten heel boots as well but i'm wearing them just with the loafers because they're just nice and easy i probably should head out now and i'll catch you when we arrive there <laughs> Sorry, just pulled the camera out right as this builder's going right here. How annoying. That's my building behind us, that white one. And then the tall one also is mowed as you see. So, just heading to meet Freya now. But it's extremely loud in the city. Um, so lucky, Selfridges is only like a five minute walk. So, should be easy to get to. And it's a gorgeous sunny day as well, which is so nice, makes such a difference. And quite rare for Manchester too. <laughs> so we're actually in Harvey Nichols, not in Selfridges. Um, and we're just on our way to Lockery Counter. She's vlogging, I'm vlogging. Let's go and find the counter. So, how do we say it? La Prairie? Or La Prairie? I've La been saying La Prairie. So I La don't Prairie. Know. Whereas I say La Prairie. Well, I don't know. I'm just making Whatever it, up. it is, we're going. Both of us have Check it out. done French, but neither of us yeah. can pronounce it. Right, let's go and find Don't put like paper plates. So I'm back from meeting Claudia at La Prairie. It was really interesting actually to hear about the brand because I didn't know, sorry, La Prairie. La Prairie, that's how you pronounce it. Because I didn't really know much about it, but one of their serums, 900 pounds but yeah uh, none of the other products are quite that price yeah they've got a new serum come out and i i zoomed quite in on the bottle so you can see it but basically their formula is based on caviar and somehow they extract it but the way that the bottle opens is that there's little caviar extractions in one side of the tube and then in the other side of the tube is a, like the serum and then when you pump it they both kind of react together mix and then you put it on your skin so i found that quite interesting actually um and hopefully we're gonna get some products sent over so i can give those a try and let you know how they are basically now i'm in a bit of a mess because i did my zara zara haul before and i'm not tidied it up so I thought I can just tidy this up with you now. I'm actually heading home, back to where I live, where I come from, back to my mum and dad's house. Just because I said I would come on the Wednesday, it's nice to go home for a little bit, see how they are, catch up with them, tell them about London yesterday, tell them what I've got up to. So yeah, I'm gonna do that later, and Tim's out playing football anyway. So, I need to get this tidied really before I go. I'm just going to get the train, to be honest. I think it's going to be easier than driving. All my new pieces. If you want to see what I've got from Zara and all the things that I'm hanging up, it'll be on my Instagram now, hopefully. Zara Paul on my IGTV. So I'm going to put these in here. I'm going to sort all these out now and catch up with you in a minute when I've done all this. But I think it needs a wash. <laughs> tidy floor I'm gonna finish finish the rest of it our bedroom needs doing and then I think I'm going to finish off some emails finish off some work and get ready to go home quite excited actually looking forward to it tonight at home um, I was so tired this morning after being in London so late so I'm just gonna chill tonight I think but I need to do lots of like online orders for the house so I might take my laptop with me and try and get some bits and bobs done and see what my mum thinks of them. Yes, it's a plan for now. 
So all bundled up, ready to go to my mum and dad's now. I'm wearing this H&M coat from last year. Topshop boots, Zara trousers belt and jumper. And then this old hat, which I can't remember. I think it was from H&M. And I head off now, I'll probably leave the camera here and get back to you tomorrow. Hello everyone. So I went to back home yesterday evening. See my mum and dad. Unfortunately, the heating at my house has been broken and they were meant to get it to someone to fix it yesterday and they didn't so it was pretty cold back now i came back this morning it's now about half 12 but i've done loads today uh well i've cleaned all the house done some emails sorted some work out done some washing and now i'm ready to go to my event so it's with elf cosmetics at 20 stories which is a lovely venue so this is what i'm wearing this is what i've just kind of I'm just debating what shoes to put on. So my Zara cardigan. Love this Tweedy cardigan. Zara blouse. Zara trousers. Zara belt. Zara headband. North school earrings. Missouri rings. And then I don't know what shoes to put on. I might put some just heel boots on with it. So yeah, this is my outfit to jour. Du jour. I need to get going now though because I need to meet Freya soon. We're just going to shoot our outfits and then head to 20 stories. So I'm really looking forward to it. Freya in tow. We've shot our outfit and we're literally at 20 stories now. We need to be quick though because we're five minutes late. Chop chop. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Going up. So this is my new Zara blazer which I got yesterday. I really like it. It's a bit like the Lovies one. Yeah, it's nicer. I've mm. got the Lovies one and I just feel nice with this yeah. one. Um, my Louis Vuitton bag, my new Zara. No, top shop. These are the leather ah, that, that you're talking about. Yeah, they're like a zip up the side legging. And then, I don't know if you can see there, Zara belly there heels, which Tom saw off and was like, what are those? What can I find you love? 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 back so Freya's dropping oh, me off uh, at so one end of Dean's gate she's going out of her way to drop me off really. that is a good friend well you're going a different way <sighs> um but yeah it was a lovely event I need to go to MS now and pick up some food because I've got two of my friends coming over tonight she's cooking salmon she's just eating salmon <laughs> so stupid I didn't even I didn't even remember what I'd ordered and wasn't even thinking about it um so yeah doing that now and Freya's gonna guide me home well, tight. guide me. Yeah, it is quite tight. You might even be better pulling up there. Oh, you've I'm got you've got a, a you've got over. quite a lot of space to play with here. And then a diddy car. Yeah. You'll probably go this way and then round the back. You are doing. I got you. You got me. Um. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Benny. Bye. Let's go. So back. <laughs> <laughs> Back from m and um, that was quite a trek because I had to walk up the hill and walk around m and in heels. My feet are absolutely killing me now. But it's thing on the floor. Um, but my friend's coming round soon. Oh, okay, what a fail. Mm, that's very dodgily balanced. My friends are coming down soon and I'm just going to set up for them. I've got some salmon to eat and um, 
I'm gonna light these candles and then dot them around everywhere so it's all nice for when they arrive. I got this one from my grandma, it's one from M&S. Fleur d'orange, I can't read it, the writing's a bit blurry. From M&S, smells really good. I've got a bamboo and jasmine one from H&M Home. I've had an H&M Home delivery today actually, I'll show you later. 96, this is from uh home sense it's silver spruce and citrus i love that one i've just been i've just finished using one my mum got me from italy actually so i've got a few more amber oud and wood oh lindsay's just said she's here okay i need to make sure where she is don't get this on the vlog or else it'll kill me why <laughs> why will it kill you <laughs> just on about um <laughs> no it's not uh, i'm just testing it oh. it's actually i don't know how i know <laughs> point now it are you so is it recorded please there? tell me what you're talking about i'm not telling you <laughs> go on you're about to tell me this is going out to is 100,000 people no how do i know it's not recording is i'm telling you is there a red light i don't trust it I want well to it's not it. flashing is it put it on record now recording or not oh it's off oh no it is <laughs> on <laughs> Tell me what you're talking about. No, we can't. Why? You were just about to tell me. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's been recorded this whole time. <laughs> so. I did not make the vlog. <laughs> got my gals round. This is Lindsay and Izzy. You've both been in the vlogs before. We have. Hey. <laughs> we're Regulars. Just, we're just about to eat. Um, are you a bit hot? I, I am like, actually, I'm actually not flushed Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> what was the conversation? <laughs> Trying to find Lindsay a boyfriend. <laughs> I need Who to just kiss. kind of pays for Please her a bit. Slide into she doesn't need to see. Yeah, honestly. Just a part -time anybody woman. knows anybody? Who wants a gentle weekend relationship? But I'm a strong independent woman. I don't She's a strong independent pay. woman, but she wants him to pay for half a house deposit. Yeah. If, if anyone is interested and needs a housemate, Please just yeah. slide into Lydia's DMs. A housemate will do. A housemate that's male and attractive. Yeah. Yeah, part-time boyfriend. Part-time boyfriend. Weekends only. Why is he not full-time? Friday to Monday, that's just too like, much. That. I like my own time. Yeah, Friday to Monday. Okay. Friday to Monday? Yeah. Friday to Monday. A long yeah. weekend. A long weekend. Not every weekend. Not yet. Every, <laughs> every other. <laughs> right. Can we change your um, Instagram to... Why don't you set up a day in business? A day in a What yeah. should we call it? Lydia's Not. Lads. Lydia's <laughs> Lads. <laughs> oh, no. A mad Interview them all first before oh, they're Oh, I think that's that. the process. We'll yeah. hire out one of the reacts to it. Yeah, because then you'll be able to find exactly what I want. We yeah. should hire out. The Can we do it in room? secret then? We send videos in. Oh. Video application. And then we record it all. Yeah. yeah. It has to be on YouTube. Oh, so this is my meal that I've made that I've just put in the oven basically. This looks the most horrendous meal. I'm such a bad hostess. I uh, put, got some salmon with some spring onions, garlic, and put some soy sauce on and peppers as well. Yeah. I'm just explaining my terrible meal. I mean, it really looks appalling when you look it's at it like this on the camera. I have just put it in the oven and just turn the oven on. Oh, I did cut these bits up, but anyway, let's put it out. It's the next day and my friends have gone home now. We had such a lovely evening there. They bought me the most beautiful flowers. In fact, I'll show you now. This is what I'm on route to do. I need to get a vase for them. So this is them. Isabel got me these. Absolutely stunning. And then Lindsay me these ones again so gorgeous i think i'm gonna have to maybe put them in two different rooms or maybe i could put one in the corridor on the console table and then one in here maybe because i think tim's flowers are going and then my gorgeous flowers from shop style as well so maybe one in the bedroom I'm gonna make and make a meal with that later i might try and show you what i'm making um but yeah they're absolutely stunning we had such a nice night though it was lovely for them to come around and hopefully it'll be happening more often and um, Isabel's actually moving to Didsbury, which is not far from Manchester, soon. So um, we'll be able to visit each other really easily. It's just about, I don't know, 10 minute tram ride away. So really easy to get to her. 
and vice versa. Today, this morning, pretty much cleared my inbox. Um, I went to the gym first thing, did all my washing. Tim's at work today, but I was alone last night. He decided to stay at his brother's because they watched a film till late and I had my friends around anyway. So he's back tonight. I'm gonna make us a meal. I'm gonna make it this afternoon so it's got a bit of time to mature. Done my washing and yeah, oh, I was gonna show you my console table because I was gonna show you where I might put the flowers. I'm waiting for a Zara, a Zara home vase to go on it. I'll just go and show you this console table now. Just put the light on. Okay, so ignore the rubbish because that I'm gonna take that out now. So I've got this new, this is an, oh gosh, it's quite heavy. This is a new frame from H&M Home. It's marble. I thought it would be a bit more brown than that. I don't actually like this top that much. Um, there were warnings on the website that the top looked a little bit cheap, but like on all the pictures it looked really nice. And I think once it's got all the stuff on it, you probably won't end up, I think we're gonna try and get a picture or something to prop up on it, a mirror. You won't really be able to see that wood that much. It's from Wayfair, but I really like the design and the square shape. And because we're renting, it's one of those things where you don't wanna buy home pieces for a lot of money because you don't know how long you'll be here and you don't wanna invest into a space that you know is not yours forever. This, yeah, it was only 50 pounds and I think it was in the sale at the time, but I, I actually really like it. It's just that when you go a bit closer, it's not my favorite. But anyway, got this marble frame. I thought it was gonna be more brown than this. It's actually quite gray, um, but I'm gonna see what happens when I get the vase on it and maybe go and try, try and look for a picture. I also got this, which I thought might be a little bit bigger. So I don't know whether to go and get the bigger one or not. I'm gonna see what Tim thinks. It's from H&M Home. It's like a leather thing, but you just we just wanted to put our keys in and like our little fobs for the door. So we don't really need one that big. I don't think this candle is staying here. Perhaps want a bigger candle and that neon's not staying here either that belongs in the other room i think i want a bigger candle i love this one i think i need to see it basically with the vase on because it definitely needs some height and a picture and maybe even some greenery but i thought maybe you could even get a stand-up pot there and then in that corner there i think i want a long mirror there's still a lot we need to do in that chest of drawers up there we need to we need to put that up this weekend. I'm gonna show you my outfit now though. So I'm just nipping out. I've got a few things to get. I want to get some vases. I want to do a Zara return for a few bits that I got. What else have I got, have I got to do? Just little bits of things I need to pick up. So this is what I'm wearing. I actually really like this outfit and I wish somebody was here to take a picture of it for me for Instagram. Earrings are from Zara. I absolutely love these, such a cool shape. Um, Old Zara knit manga belt which is in season well it's in stock at the moment i think old azara jeans which is which are kind of like a, a less exaggerated version of the balloon they're a bit carrot shaped of the balloon shape that they're doing this season and then this zara coat from last year it's my adidas trainers and then my gucci bag i actually really really like this outfit and i think navy and black look so good together they're one of those it's like a secret weapon of dressing i think it's quite a classy look and it's a bit unexpected and a way for an outfit to look instantly more on trend because i don't think this would look as nice if it was a black coat top tip right i'm gonna go leave the house what time is it i need to get my zara bag it's 11 so i don't want to be too late so i want to do a few things when i'm back yeah that's the plan today getting all the christmas markets up in manchester first of november some vases oh let's be careful 15 pounds not bad and it's a nice size as well. So I ended up not being able to vlog that much when I was out because um, I got two vases, so it was too much to carry and I got some baking trays as well. These are the vases I got. So this one I got from M&S, it was 15 pounds. So that's the biggest one. So I think I'll get the biggest bunch to go in there. And then this one was from HomeSense. I think it was about 7.99. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the third bouquet because I've got those on the table which are slightly going. So I might put them in there, but they're not quite, not all out yet. There's some lilies that are still out. I'm not sure. So I'm going to try and do two and then see how we go on from there. You're my best friend. 
didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless to show you all my flowers all lined up nicely i'll try and insert a picture of them all together but I, for now i'll just show you where they are currently and then i think i might move them around i'm not sure where they're all gonna go for definite yet but this one these are ones from shop style i've just put them on the table because i think the others are a bit too tall for the table you can't kind of see over there and excuse the washing and the other bits and bobs but aren't they pretty and then they're in the tk maxx vase the ones that tim gave me these are the ones that's still going strong and i want to get a nice like small vase to put them in my friend actually bought me one um and it's still at home so i've not got what i've not got it here and i don't know when i'll get it so maybe just buy another small one for those these have just gone in the spare room for now, but I think I might swap them around a bit and try and find a good place to put them because they're absolutely stunning. But I'm in here all the time, so I mean, I get to see them and enjoy them anyway. But they are kind of a bit taking over the table, but they are stunning. And then finally, these ones are on the console table. Um, again, I need to, I'm waiting for another vase actually, but I need to arrange all these things better. Yeah, this is the one on the console table. How gorgeous do they look? Love them. I think what I'm gonna do now is make our meal for later on so that it gets a chance to kind of mature a little bit and grow into its flavors. So basically what I'm gonna do are meatballs, sliced carrots, potatoes, onion. I'm gonna put them in gravy, maybe a bit of red wine, and then put it in the oven to cook for maybe about 40 minutes all together in a baking tray. Really, really easy. I've not actually done this one before, but I do a lot with like chicken. Um, but my mum told me she did this one the other day and it worked really well. So we're gonna try this. Now set you up and begin to make it and then it should be ready later on. We can just microwave it or heat it up. Um, it's two now which is quite good timing um i've not got that much to do today because i've kind of got to do it all on monday when i'm with tim so i'm kind of set back a little bit because of that well not set back but i can't do it because of that um so yeah uh, today's kind of come to a bit of an end I'm gonna start cooking and then I'm gonna sort all the washing out. I need to steam it. We've not got our ironing board yet. Um, so I'm just gonna steam it for now. And yeah, just kind of crack on with things. I might nip out again to get a small bars or I want a little plant for the bathroom as well. Um, and there's a place in Northern Quarter called Frog. And I know when I went to an event that they had some really nice pieces from Frog on the table. It might have even been the event for Moda actually. I can't remember but they had some nice pots um so i'm gonna see if they're gonna if they've got some in frog and if not they've got some in oliver bonus so might go over there um, what else do i need to do maybe ring the council about council tax log into sky um and return a zara order like an online one i was gonna drop it off just at the post office but i'm not sure whether they actually drop them they accept drop offs there or not and zara's always a bit funny with that um so anyway i'm gonna crack on with this now and let's get going so this is the baking tray i've got i got this one from home sense earlier because um we hadn't got one big enough so um i want to try and put you up a bit higher but then i guess you can't see that i'm gonna try and find something that i can prop you up on I found a box of crackers that works quite well. So um, let's start with, we need to start chopping. Um, I don't know whether to use my little board. No, I'll use a bigger board. So, I've got potatoes. I'm definitely no cooking expert at all. Um, 
but this is just such an easy meal if you just want to throw something together. And things that you might actually have in your fridge or in your cupboard anyway. I might make quite a lot here and then just, um, we can just freeze it or just heat it up and have it another day. I've, um, I don't tend to take the skin off the potatoes either. I'll just give them a quick wash and then cut them into chunks as they are. And I've got, I've got baby potatoes here. But they're quite chunky actually. get my pan and start popping them in when I've cut them up. So potatoes are done. I'm going to move on to the carrots now and then the onions and I'll mix them all up together. So I'm going to put you on charge and then I'll show you in a bit um, the finished result and what I've done. So this is it before it goes in the oven. It is, well I just put some instant gravy on it and then I also put a bit of red wine, just mixed up. I didn't really measure it out or anything, I just kind of splashed it on and salt and pepper and then I'm going to put that in the oven for at least 50 minutes. Might take a little bit longer. I mean the meatballs, I mean to t cook on their own they're only 20 minutes but for everything else and to mix it all together I'll give it 45 50 minutes and see how we get on. It's evening time now. Basically, steamed as much as I could because we don't have the iron yet. And my pièce de résistance is done. Let's have a look if you can see. It might be a bit steamy. But yeah, that's it. It's just kind of settling together now um, and it's kind of stewing and the flavours are coming out and like all the onions and the red wine should come out a bit more now that I've cooked it earlier. We're gonna have that later. It's after five now but Tim's trains have been cancelled. Two of them have been cancelled and then one is in about half an hour's time and I think he's got to change um, so he won't be home till like Mm, after half six probably so I might just do a couple of emails now edit some pictures and also I want to put a photo in this frame and see what it looks like so I'm gonna get that done now before he's back maybe pop the tv on I've lit my candles how cute so that one's the M&S one and then that is from, the silver one is from Home Sense. And then I've got my coral, that is from Kelly Hoppin. And Louis book. Oh, and these are from, from Sustry and Grim. Gorgeous. <laughs> is the picture I've gone for. 
but I actually wanted another one and I had it in too big a size and then I cut it down and made it the wrong size. So I'm just going to go with this for now, but I think it's quite cute. So I'll keep this in the frame. It actually goes really nicely in the bed bedroom, this frame. So if it doesn't work on the console table, I'll pop it in the bedroom. There we go. best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools finally it's ready oh mine might need a bit longer actually i'm just heating it up and then is yours hot enough yeah cheers I'm starving. I've been waiting for you all evening. Yeah. So hungry, but I think it's going to be quite nice. What do you think? Do a taste test. <laughs> oh, it's good, isn't it? Really good. Best thing you've ever tasted. <laughs> right, we're going to eat this and I'll talk to you soon. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna say? It is Sunday morning, and I've not vlogged. I don't think did I vlog on Friday? Oh yeah, I vlogged my meal that we had. Um, I don't think I'm gonna vlog today. My mum and dad are coming over. They're just gonna stop maybe come for a drink and then I think we're gonna go out have a little wander around Manchester but I don't think I'm gonna vlog him and solid tape in the background I don't think I'm gonna vlog just because it's Sunday and I feel like having a day off this is what I'm wearing the brand Ali shirt that I wore to go to London which you may or may have not seen it's definitely on well it'll definitely be on my Instagram because I'm gonna try and shoot this outfit today Zara leather trousers and belt and Zara earrings why are you looking at me like that? We've been attempting, in fact, I'll show you. Attempting all morning, not all morning, or yesterday, to put flat pack furniture, well, flat pack drawers. And let's be honest, it's been a bit of a nightmare. So these are the drawers, but we've had many a problem with them, including getting things on back to front. The instructions weren't very clear, were they? <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait instructions. Well, they actually weren't. Like, look how many, like there's about a thousand of these, a thousand of these, and then loads of different types of nails. There's about, how many nails would you say there are? At least, at least five different types. Yeah. Well, it'll, it'll, it'll be done. Just... It'll be done soon, hopefully, because be it's done. just the drawers to do now. We were doing it still last night. We accidentally did put this on back to front. <laughs> which has now been corrected. So Tim's gonna try and finish that off, I think. What's the plan? Today. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. What else did we do yesterday? I went to the match. Oh, Tim went to watch football. I went, uh, I did nothing. <laughs> I, um, no, I bought some more stuff. Spent the afternoon doing a bit of research for home stuff. The Meghan and Harry documentary, watch the In the Style documentaries, and yeah, just did bought loads. I know it's annoying, that isn't it? Um, and just bought loads of. I got some cushions for the bedroom, four lots of cushions. I got a mirror for the console table, a little tray for the bathroom, the bits and bobs. But I think today, tonight's job is going to be finding a console table, not console table, like a little desk for the spare room, and an extra rail as well to film my videos with. So that's what I'm gonna do tonight, I think. Also, I've got a Zara home vase that needs picking up. But I don't think you'll be able to pick it up for me because of the ID. The place is only open 12 till four. You're listening to me. I'm getting myself booked in for a, for a haircut. Oh, were well, you not listening to what I was saying? Yeah, you said you want me to go pick up your Zara vase. Yeah, but I'm not sure whether they'll let you because it's not under your name, is it? Well, if you give me your ID, do you reckon? Where is it? It's, I think, a few minutes walk up that way. And it's just out of the way, isn't it, for where I'm going today? And it's only open 12 to 4. Well, I'm going with you. Yeah, but do you want to come shopping? No. 
definitely not. <laughs> so I'm thinking you come back here. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm going to sign off the vlog now, I think. I don't know if it's been a long one or a short one, but we will find out. I'll have some more home updates for you as well. I'm quite enjoying doing these like at-home vlogs. I feel like I'm really in the swing of it now and much more enjoying it to when I was vlogging before. I feel like now I'm at home, like in my own environment, I can really like just vlog the day to day things, which I actually prefer watching on other people's channels as well. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that element of it and lots more home updates to come. I think I'll show you a bit more in depth about um, like interior stuff that I've bought. Also be doing like a flat tour soon as well. So thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully in my next one. Please, please, please press the subscribe button if you do enjoy my videos because it really would mean a lot. If you, you know did subs... What? I said get on it. Get on it. I didn't know what you'd said. Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah please do subscribe if you enjoy them because it would mean a lot and go and follow me on instagram my handles at lydia jane tomlinson thank you for watching there it is goodbye